we are in the truck driving and uh, this is so fun because we just just out of nowhere got a call today to go to three houses that are literally walking distance apart one of them needs tore down it was bad i got the bejeeber scared out of me a mouse took off running out of a cabinet josh flipped over and uh, he's laughing i'm panicking lucas is uh, wondering what in the heck are we doing this for i think at this point but look we're on the way back right now we're going to do a nice little uh video here talk through talk through some of this stuff we bought and why we bought it and stuff you see lucas back there in the back he's covered up their stuff packed in all the way around uh okay josh uh here you, you take the camera over and talk into her and tell us about what you think it was it was interesting it was a fun day i like doing this stuff because if we wouldn't have gotten that house most of this stuff would have ended up in the dumpster they actually filled one complete they, dumpster they already filled a dumpster there. i don't know what was in it but i bet we could have went through it and rummaged through it and probably found some pretty good stuff yeah I, there was just things that were the missing sad, the sad thing is is that in situations like this where it's an estate situation they passed on it hasn't yeah. even been opened for years now right and well they're they're up from north carolina yeah they're, they're They've got a week to get through this. They got three houses to get through and get it ready for market. So and they, they were, their plan was let's get three dumpsters yeah. and throw it away. And uh, so we were able to salvage some of it, save some of it. Hopefully we can make a little money and we got them some money to pay for some expenses. Yeah. Um, but a lot of stuff we actually we actually took some stuff out of the house. We bought it and we ended up throwing it away after we got to the truck. Yeah, there was, was a quilt. Was just, actually, two quilts, two was, really nice quilts that ended too up. Rough. There was there was uh, I don't know what what it was, but there, I'm not going to describe it on this channel. It was bad, so we threw them away. We got rid of them. So uh, it worked out overall. We got a truckload of stuff. We have to go clean it now, wash it, um, get it scrubbed up because I won't sell uh, what we have in this truck without without cleaning first. Yeah, we'll spend a little time washing this stuff. It's. Uh, it, to me, it was fun. Though. All right, Luke. Let's I get, liked let's it. Get some feedback now, Lucas, from Lucas did back not there. like it. Having eight in eight hours. So the he's hungry again. The hangriness is coming back. He is something when he gets hungry. He started just instead of talking, he was like grumbling at us in the last twenty minutes there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame. You know, you remember what, what is it that age? Oh, yeah. I couldn't handle it. For me, I could go all day and not eat now, but back yeah, then, back then I was ready oh. to fight. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. I think he's going, he's going to punch yeah, him. He's, he's going to stop this. <laughs> he's mad at me. Well, anyways, the rest of this video, we're going to show you uh, what we did today. So you want to watch this. This is a great video that we're going to uh, have Lucas after he gets done being hangry at his uh, upload. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> bless you guys. I hope this is fun for you as it was for us. So we got Josh and I here. We're looking in the house. We're going to... It might be a little bit yeah. of 10K or... We're, we're just looking at different things that are for sale and we're digging through and sorting and trying to find some stuff we can sell and you know what this is it'll be interesting to see if we can figure out something maybe that's a hearing aid hearing aid josh yeah. you may need i that. might need that i wish i had a seeing aid <laughs> so we're here we got a shelf full of photographs we're just going to dig through and kind of see this this album looks interesting let's see if we don't have something interesting inside a lot of old photos we sell from like a dollar to three dollar range at the mall um, yeah, this has just got enough in. I think it would be worth trying to save so we don't uh, don't lose them. Because what doesn't go is going to get tossed. Actually, Lucas has a pile of the photographs that we're going to yeah, we put downstairs and try and see if we can work out a deal on. Uh, what do you think, Luke? A lot of here, he's up and down these stairs, huh? Steep stairs. <laughs> so we're in another room in the house and just digging through. They they've. Uh, <laughs> Lots of just fun, cute things. I think this would sell at the antique center. I think I'm gonna hold on to that. Uh, we have a green chair. I think there was some animals that must have gotten in here. So we're gonna have to do some, some cleaning, get Lucas to clean some of this up for us. And I think we'll take that one too. Let's see. See what else we might find here. Oh, my oil lamp's kind of fun. Photograph of the inside of the church is really neat, but it's got a lot of damage. I just don't think it would do anything. There's a box. What is this? Wow, just really rough. I don't think that one would be sellable anymore. Um, not the oldest quilt, but maybe we'll think about that. A bit of stain, but. This one, okay, seems pretty much intact. So I figured we'll just pull them down there and take a look at them. And yeah, pull them down. 
We'll see what happens. Yeah. I think I think this glass bowl here that Jocelyn might like. Kind of put everything together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that one there. Brand new. We're we're still a digging. There's definitely a lot of glass that we yeah, can sell. Yeah, I'm gonna say these three probably won't go. Probably won't go. Okay. Well, these that's cool. You found yeah. all the depression in the cabinets here. Right. There's right. Chairs. There's a church, church pew. There's a clock. There's a painting back there. French yeah, scene. Like Interesting. The lamps. Yeah. I mean, I know they're rough, but the globe at the bottom seems to be in shape. Probably, we can probably, some of the shades we'd have to throw away. Yeah. What kind of shot? What is this? this is interesting. Just a piece of stone, or is it actually something? Wow. It says Sigmund Quinn on it. This would be so cool, but it's so dried out. I don't think we could save it. What a beautiful silver box that would have been. Really, really cool. Um... We're in the process oh, of saving one Here we go. Let's see what else we can find. This is a cool piece of glass. Jocelyn, there's the one for Jocelyn. Oh, cake plate, it's tall. It's got a little chip, but I think that's still gonna sell. I think somebody will like that. All right, Luke, how are you liking this day? <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be digging through dirty stuff like this? So far, here's what we got picked. We got a little pile we're assembling here. We're going to see if we can get together on the price. A couple of paintings we found upstairs, some miscellaneous, some toys, ceramic Christmas tree. They're selling at the antique center now. They, they seem to move okay. So we're going to see if we can get it figured out. That's fun. A little music box, probably out of the 60s. I think we'll take that one. She's not here today. American Pickers. She is not here today. The girl with all the tattoos from American Pickers. I don't know. I think they're talking about Jocelyn, but I don't think that's Craig. This must be the prayer room. All the Madonnas and pieces here. I think we can sell some of these. It's a fun crucifix. Oops, sorry. Yeah. That's, that's sellable. I think we'll take some of this. Josh, let's take this guy here. Oh, there's a celluloid, a little celluloid cubie, but she's got a pretty good dent in her. I think that went up past, but the bird is cool. Neat piece of glass. Murano. Yeah, let's take that one. So I'm in the kitchen now. Oh, there's a, that's a Fenton cake plate down there, I believe. Luke, can you grab that cake plate right there? <laughs> Watch the rack. <laughs> the rack, the rack almost got thing. you. Uh, the, I think that plate is white, but it's it appears to be brown. That's that's what's supposed black. to be white. We're taking this. <laughs> what do you think? It's Fenton. Should we take it? Let's do it. Let's see if you can clean it. Here is a chalkware cat, but it's got lots of little chips. It is chalk, little carnival chalkware. Hmm. I don't know. What'd you find? Oh, just the basket, but there's a couple figurines in it. Nothing. Nothing. Crazy, no, just crazy. Japanese figurines. This is where we're at currently. We're in the kitchen working through. So now comes the challenge. We gotta make everything fit in the back of our Suburban here. And uh, that's what we're gonna start with. I had to buy this piece. I've been to the Coliseum. I just thought that was fun. Um, it's Coliseum, an old old print uh, engraving or something. I'll have to look at it closer later, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, interesting, hold back on it still. Uh, we're starting to get in there though. Got the birdie packed up. It's getting there. We're gonna have a lot to get in. We're gonna have a full load. Hopefully uh, we can make it all work. And make it all fit well we're getting towards the end of it <laughs> this is my pick for the day um well you just never know i think i got most of it in here's here's some wicker that we got up front here and a little cranberry scoop uh, there's a nice little oil lamp but we got a few more things luke's coming around the corner luke what do you think about this house bud can't breathe you can't breathe uh, we're going to attempt to bring this fitting lamp back to life. I don't know if it's possible. 
but I just couldn't leave it in there. It's uh, it's gonna have to be a deep clean on this one. Wow. So this is the first of three houses uh, that are next door to each other. All have been abandoned for years. They were gonna throw everything in the dumpster, but they called us out and uh, this is it. And he's pulling the cobwebs back out of my car. It's a... We actually pulled some quilts, but we this. ended up throwing the quilts away. Yeah, well, I don't want to just... show them. They, they're oh. going to get, yeah, we don't need oh. to see that. And I got to take this. We're not taking this to the house. Like this has to go to the warehouse <laughs> yeah, and get so deep it's cleaned. Clean. It's all going to get cleaned. Lucas. We got two more houses to look I'm at. I'm glad so. you're under apprenticeship today. Cause I don't think you ever took that if we sent you out. <laughs> I think you'd have walked out. He'd be like, I'm good. I would have wanted any of that. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the second house and I'm kind of scared. Um, this house, believe it or not, I, I know there's no doubt you're going to believe this because it is definitely getting tore down, they said. Wow. There's some Pyrex over there, but I'm half afraid to even try. I don't know. It's, Luke, what do you think? There's a hole in the wall behind you. I think there's something sticking its head out on that ceiling up there. I believe it. You know, in the antiques business, you never know what the next house will be. Okay, so we are going to do this. Jocelyn, you inspired me last week when you went through that barn with no shoes on. Now I'm going up some stairs here. Oh, the ceiling is coming down. A Ouija board laying here. This is kind of scary. A little intimidating. I'm going to be honest about it. Oh my, I just uh, don't know about anything in this house. Oh, well, oh, jeez. The wall is coming in over there. Oh, these Victorian frames and stuff, but I'm just, I can't do it. I'm gonna have to pass. I don't see anything that's gonna make me grab it in this group right here. Let's do one more quick look. Wow. Yeah, Luke, I think uh, that this is a no-go uh, for me. Any thoughts? Yeah, I think it's different. All right, Josh is braver than me. <laughs> He's got something here. <laughs> It's full. Or maybe a raccoon in it. I don't know. Something is in this. We're going to find out. There's stuff flying everywhere. My golly. Well, it's full. It's uh Oh, Josh, let's go. I seen a mouse. I'm done. <laughs> you don't want those to get I think angry. We got some hornets that might be getting mad. We hope they don't get mad. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want those. I'll deal with mice, but not those guys. No, I'd rather have the hornets than the mice. I don't know. Hornets, All right, we're going into third house now. Mm. We're going in. Um, same group of homes here. This one is actually a pretty, pretty nice shape. shape. Oh, wow. Much different than the last house. These three houses yeah. were all next door to each other. The same person that owned them. And this is number three. There are brass candlesticks up here. Um, there's not a lot in this one. It's been pretty much uh, cleared out, it looks like. The cabinets down Maybe there is some wa water here we could wash our hands. <laughs> Maybe. If it's on. Let's see. Let's see if it's trying to turn on. Oh, he laid there's soap there too. Let's, uh, let's do hands. this. So I went to wash my hands and uh, found a piece of Pyrex. There we go. Chipped up around the bottom. Oh, is it chipped? Yep. Nah. It's all laid up around the bottom. Well, we'll leave it back in the sink. At least we have the hair in the I like the stand. I think I can make that fit in the truck. Um, I'm gonna try. We're in the bedroom now. I don't see much else in the house. Mostly is empty. Well, Josh is calling me. He said he found some more Pyrex. Crap. I think under this pile right here, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna watch my hands while I open it up. Uh, there's some stuff. There's so some. We got here. We're gonna see. Josh is gonna go through this. And... Yeah. Yeah. We can't find some. I don't see any. I think there's one under there. He's got better vision than me, and I don't see Pyrex down there. I see no, a, give me a second. I see a refrigerator all taken apart and cleaned up. Yeah, they've been cleaned all over. 
granite and brown and white granite speckle. That's probably that's clean. Let's take that. We can, we can we can sell that. A little pale. Let's do it. Let me go out to the antique center. Somebody might buy that. That's it right there. See it? What the green piece? Yeah. Oh, oh here, wait, go down here. There's is there a lid? I don't know. Oh, Josh was right. A piece of Pyrex. How big is it? It's that size. Well, that's not gonna be lid. That is definitely not the lid. Uh, there's a juicer, Vaseline glass juicer. Yeah, it'll probably go. Yeah, we can sell that one too. A little Vaseline juicer. That'll light up under a black light. So let's put that there. I should probably. Okay, so now we're heading up into the attic to see what we find and put phone up here first, see something is going to come and get me. Um, well, okay. Christmas stuff. It's usually where we find the mold blown stuff, but let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And I just washed my hands, but have no fear, right? That is a really good looking book. So dry. This whole pile of books here are just dry rotted books. I don't know that I could do anything with them. Yeah, I don't think I can. Um, more books. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Interesting. No, I think I think we're gonna have to pass to pass on the books today. And my car is about full, so I think this is a good point to stop uh, stop buying on this trip. Luke, catch me. Oh yeah, sure. What we got here? Josh is yelling at me to stick my head around the corner, and I'm half scared. So there was only two things down in the basement. Okay, a little bean little number pot. Number two, number two bean pot crock here with the brown edge. What do we got? That's got liquid. It's in it. still got liquid in it. I don't, <laughs> I don't think, think I want, want that. One. You better leave that alone. Um, so this is how it works. We are out in the middle of a bean field here walking from the third house back to the second back to the first where the truck is then we got a car coming hey this is like american pickers right here right call this one uh, donaldsville pickers lucas are you getting tired yet we're getting closer Footage. If the mouse would have ran up my leg, you would have heard me scream like a little girl. I'd have been running. I that do not like mice. Too. It looked like it was about like that. Oh, it was, uh, it was more than I wanted. I, I, uh, I, I don't know why, but that's the one thing that my, mice and snakes, I just can't handle. Oh, snakes. Dude. Mice, I'm not bad with mice. Yeah, I know. You're in there digging through it. And I'm like, oh, oh, gosh, I can't do that. Oh, well. Yeah. yeah. We are rearranging the vehicles here. I had to pull up to the side because I have to make room for that in this truck so we're gonna have to read back okay. well he said not to put my seat back but take a look I think we got it we had to flip the stand up rearrange a little bit but we now have a car full and uh, Lucas is gonna ride on top I think I'm not sure <laughs> we have a little bit of room left and that is it okay we're done we're getting ready to get in the truck and lucas has to sit in that spot and he's so excited this is a apprenticeship week number going into week number two going into week three week three week three apprenticeship and he is uh, getting thinking maybe i don't know i don't think he's regretting it yet <laughs> but it was a bad day that was a... josh is still making fun of me about the mouse what a day. What an adventure. Thanks for watching us. We hope you stay tuned uh, for more videos every day. Daily uploads here at Burner Brother Antiques. Follow our other YouTube channel, Heart of Ohio Antiques, to find out some really insights to great experts. Some really good insights to great experts. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, bless you. Love you. We'll see you soon.